Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So this past week we had a strawberry full moon here in the Midwest. So this week's flow is based around that moon. So typically in the Ashtanga format and method, we don't practice on moon days for a number of reasons, but the primary reason being that the body is 70 to 80% water. And so just like the coastlines start to rise, the tides start to rise when there's a full moon, the tides in our bodies start to rise as well, which can make us more susceptible to injury and can leave us kind of emotional and more energetically charged, but not physically grounded. So it can leave us kind of headstrong in our practice, making us feel like we can often do more than we're actually capable of in those moments. So today's practice will be focused on a little bit more grounding, but also this expansion of the heart and throat. So let's go ahead and start in crocodile pose. We're gonna start laying on the belly. This is one of my favorite ways to ground. And we'll interlace the fingers and then just plug the third eye into the backs of your hands. And as you're getting settled, maybe you want to sway your hips left and right, just kind of nestling your hip bones into the mat. And just take a moment here to slow your breath. Settle your energy. Tune in to the frequency of the body and plug into your practice. Notice if there's any places in the body that maybe feel disconnected, offline. If you feel more emotionally or energetically charged. And if you can start to ground your physical body into the mat to settle the energy, the emotions. We'll just take three more slow, deep breaths here. Just feel as all of your touch points press firmly into the floor. Tops of your feet, thighs, belly, chest. Forearms and hands. Feel your breath travel from the base of your spine, inflating the belly, letting the ribs flare out to the edges of your mat. And then taking that same journey down as you exhale. And let's just take two more. Good, now on your inhale, gently peel your head away from the mat. Slide your hands into chaturanga position so they line up under the shoulders. Inhale, push to straight arms, upward facing dog, drop your head back. On your exhale, drop your hips towards your heels and settle into child's pose. Arms out in front of you, take your third eye to the mat. On your inhale, lift your head away from the floor and gently pad your fingers over to the right and drop your head back down so you can stretch out through your left side body. On your inhale, head comes back up. Pad your fingers through the center to the other side and exhale, head comes back down. Inhale, head comes back up. 
Pad your fingers through the center and suction cup your hands into the mat. Start to pull yourself forward into upward facing dog. And then roll over the tops of your feet to downward facing dog. Just take a moment here to pedal, push your feet or knees, to sway your hips, add any movements in that your body calls out for. Good, now settle into your pose, into your breath, and on your inhale, drop to your knees for table. You'll relax the tops of your feet to the floor and drag your arms up and over your head into a little camel prep. Now exhale, take your hands to your low back and just start to push your hips forward, arch through your spine and let your head go. Inhale, bring yourself back up to center. Exhale, sit to your heels, take your hands to your thighs. Inhale to child's pose. Walk your hands out in front. Exhale there. Inhale, pull to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, drop to your shins, relax your feet, and drag your hands back and arms up over your head. Exhale, hands to your low spine, push your hips forward, arch through your back, and let your head hang. Inhale, bring it back up to center. Exhale, sit to your heels, hands to your thighs. Inhale to child's pose, walk out. Exhale, there. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale to your shins, relax your feet, drag your hands back, reach your arms up over your head. Exhale, hands to your low spine, push your hips forward, arch through your back, let your head go. Inhale, back up through the center. Exhale, sit to your heels, hands to your thighs. Inhale, walk out to child's pose, and exhale there. Good, let's go one more round. Inhale, pull forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, drop to your shins, relax your feet, drag back, arms up over your head. Exhale, hands to your low spine, push your hips forward, arch through your back. Inhale, back up through the center. Exhale, sit to your heels, hands to your thighs. Inhale to child's pose. And exhale there. Inhale, pull forward to upward facing dog. Exhale, over your toes to downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. And out. Again, breath in. And out. Now as you inhale, gently walk your feet to your hands at the top of the mat. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees and rise into a chair. Arms reach up over your head. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step your right foot to the back, drop your knee, relax your toes. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. Exhale, hands back to the mat, frame your foot. Inhale, step to the top of the mat. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step your left foot back, drop your knee, relax your foot. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. Exhale, hands to the mat. 
Inhale, turn your back toes under, lift your knee, step to down dog. Exhale there for three. Two. And one. Inhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, rise to chair. Exhale, fold right back down, hands to mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step your right foot back, drop your knee, relax your foot. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. Exhale, hands to the mat, frame your foot. Inhale, step to the top of the mat, flat back. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, again to flat back. Exhale, step your left foot back, drop your knee, relax your toes. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. Exhale, hands to the mat, frame your foot. Inhale, back toes under, knee lifts, step to downward facing dog. Four, three. Two. And one. Inhale, travel forward, feet to hands. Exhale, bow over your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, rise into a chair. Exhale, fold forward, hands to mat, we'll add on. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step your right foot to the back, drop your knee, relax your toes. Inhale, arms reach up over your head to Anjayanasana, crescent lunge. And we'll just stay here for a moment as you melt into your front knee, softening the top of your right thigh to the floor not just the top of the knee and the shin. So start to really bring your weight forward and down. For two. And one, you'll start to lower your arms towards the floor, sweep them back behind you and let your heart hover over your thigh. Now push onto the top of your right foot and drag your right leg up into warrior three. You might have to use your hands, that's totally fine. Or if you're silly like me and have socks on, maybe your feet get stuck. <laughs> For three. Two. And one, gently pull your right knee in behind your left and bring your hands together at heart center for a little Jiva squat. So again, your belly will touch your thigh 100%, but try not to collapse for two. And one, take your right hand to the floor to the inside of your left foot and reach your left arm up over your head into a little twist. Now we'll step your right foot back behind you into lizard, gaze towards your left fingers. The more you push into your right hand, the more you rotate your torso towards the long edge of your mat for two. And one, let's inhale, rise all the way up to warrior two, spin your back heel down, reach your arms out to a T. Exhale, start to straighten your left leg, bend your right. And inhale, step to chair, top of the mat. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, step your left foot to the back, drop your knee, relax your toes. Inhale, arms reach up over your head, Anjayanasana. Good, and we'll just stay here. 
Let your back thigh melt to the floor and your front knee stack over your ankle for three. Two. And one, you'll exhale, sweep your hands back behind you and almost come into like an airplane shape. Now we're gonna press off the top of your right foot and drag up into warrior three. Lift your right kneecap to firm your thigh for two. And one, Jiva squat. Hug your left knee in behind your right and bring your palms together in prayer. Avoid collapsing onto your right leg for two. And one, left hand softens to the floor inside your right foot. Right arm goes up into a little twist. Now you'll step your left foot back behind you into runner's lunge in a little twist here for lizard. Gaze to your right fingers for two. And one, inhale, rise up to warrior two. Spin your back heel down, sweep your arms out to a T. Now exhale, straighten your right leg, bend your left. And inhale, step to the top of the mat for Upatasana chair. Exhale, fold forward over your legs, hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to down dog. As you inhale, shift forward to high plank. Now exhale, dip your right hip towards the floor and stagger your left foot in front of your right. Left arm goes up for side plank. For three. Two. And one. Now from here, lower your right hip to the floor and then roll onto your bum. Let your left ankle cross over your right. Now unwind your left ankle, bend your right knee, reach your left hand back behind you and your right arm over your head. Now inhale, lift into wild thing. Hips are up, hip bones towards the sky for three. Two. And one, you'll lower right back down as you were. Let your right knee drop back onto the mat. Right hand comes to the top and you lift into gatekeeper. Left arm over your head, you're on your right shin for three. Two. And one. All right, this is gonna get a little weird, so listen up for a second. We're gonna push, the hand, push your right hand into the floor and then kick your right leg out in front of you but closer to the back edge of your mat. Okay, now wait into that right foot. Step your left foot in front of your right, your right foot in front of your left, your left foot in front of your right, Lower your left hand down, spin on the balls of your feet, lift your right arm and kick your left foot to the back. Now you're in wild thing again for three, two, and one. Now spin to three-legged dog, right leg high in the air in downward facing. Exhale, step your right foot forward to the space between your hands and drop your left knee down, but keep your toes turned under. We'll inhale, arms reach up over your head. And then exhale to straighten your right leg. Drag your right foot back so it lines up with your left. Take your hands to your low spine and start to push 
your hips forward, arching through your back, let your head go. If it's available, maybe you can take your hands to your heels and start to arch your back even more into Ustrasana Camel. Make sure that there's space to breathe. And if this is too much, just bring your hands back to your hips for three. Two. And one. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, sit to your heels, bring your hands to heart center. Now from here, we're gonna lean your torso back and float your knees. Push down through each toe. And if you remember from our toe class, you're trying to lift and spread the toes out for two. And one, we'll inhale, come all the way up to standing, keep your heels lifted. Exhale, heels down, fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, walk out to down dog. Inhale, shift forward to high plank. Exhale, dip your left hip towards the floor, reach your right arm up and stagger right foot in front of your left. Three, two, and one. Your left hip drops to the floor. You roll onto your bum and let your ankles cross. Unwind your right foot, bend your left knee. Take your right hand behind you and inhale, left arm up. Rise on into your wild thing. Hips are lifted. Three. Two. And one. You gently drop your hips back down as you were. Let your left knee collapse back onto the mat. Left hand towards the top. Right arm over your head into gatekeeper. Push the heads of your hip bones towards the long edge of your mat for two. And one. So we push the weight into your left hand and inhale, kick your left leg out in front of you. So it's closer to the back edge of your mat. Now your right foot steps in front of your left. Left foot steps in front of your right. Right foot steps in front of your left, right hand down, spin on the balls of your feet. Kick your right foot to the back of the mat and lift into wild thing again for three, two, and one, spin to three-legged downward facing dog, left leg high in the air. Exhale, step your left foot down to the space between your hands and drop your right knee. Keep the ball mound turned under. Inhale, arms reach up over your head. And exhale, straighten your left leg. Drag your left foot back in line with your right. Now, if you feel pretty open here and you want to go into full Ustrasana, go ahead and flatten the tops of your feet to the floor. If not, don't worry about it. Go ahead and take hands to the low back, push your hips forward, arch through your spine, and take any version of back bend that you feel ready for. I'm a pretty big stickler about trying to go back with both hands at the same time, and then also coming up both hands same time. For three. Two. And one, inhale, bring it back up. If your toes are not turned under, go ahead and turn them there now. Take your hands to heart center, sit your hips onto your heels, lean back and float your knees. For three, try to create a 90 degree angle from your thighs to your upper body. Two. Two. 
and one. Inhale, come all the way up onto the balls of your feet. Keep your heels lifted. Exhale, heels down, fold forward, hands to the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, walk out to downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Again, breath in. And out. Great. Okay, let's inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee, come out of the ball of your left foot and pivot to wild thing again. Now we aren't gonna stay here long, we're just gonna kind of use this as a transition. So let's gently drop your left glute to the floor, roll over your left thigh and come onto your belly. Now, push your hands into the mat and lift into upward facing bow with your right leg bent. Here's a little bit of a mind puzzle for you. As you exhale, you're gonna roll over your right shin, bring your left foot into the air behind you. Now, exhale, knee to nose, tuck your knee in, draw your belly inside. Exhale, wrap your left leg over the top of your right and slide your thighs in as tight as you can get them. Start to sit your bum back and reach your arms out in front of you to take a deep fold over your cross legs, Gomukhasana. Now it really doesn't matter if your hips are down or not, but I just wanna be able to see that your left foot is crossed over the top of your right thigh. So everyone's gonna look a little different. As long as you feel a stretch in your outer glute, we're good. For three, Two, and one. Start to suction your hands into the floor. Shift forward until both shins touch down. Now, if you wanna watch first, this is gonna get a, another little mind puzzle for you. So we're gonna turn the toes under. You're gonna lift your right arm up, okay? Now, lift your knees, unwind to wild thing at the back of the mat. For three. Two. On one, you lower your bum to the floor. Take your right hand behind you, left arm over your head. Lift your hips into wild thing, other side. For three. Two. On one, lift to the balls of your feet. Tuck your left leg in behind your right and spin around so that now you're in Gomukhasana again, but with your right shin on top of your left and your arms out in front of you. For three. Two. And one, let's start to pull forward until both shins touch down. Now your right knee draws into your belly and you exhale, kick your right leg back behind you, unwinding the legs. Okay, now I always have to walk my hands a bit more forward for this transition. You're gonna come up onto the top of your left thigh and lower yourself down into that one-legged upward facing dog. Okay, so if your arms aren't straight, take them there now. And then roll over your right hip into wild thing. Left arm over your head for three. Two. And one. Flip to three-legged dog, left leg high in the air. Exhale, glide your left shin forward for pigeon. Drop it down, 
Walk yourself into whatever depth or intensity feels right to you. And then bring your forearms down, chest and chin can come down and you can melt into your mat. Find some submission, some surrender, and breathe for three. Two. And one, let's inhale, start to push yourself back up to straight arms. Now you've got two more wild things in your future. We're gonna turn the back toes under, Lift your right knee, left leg goes into three-legged dog, bend the knee, pivot on the ball of your right foot and flip. Now again, this is just a transition. We're gonna drop your right hip down, roll over your right thigh onto your belly. Take your right arm out to the side, like a nice long straight T shape, and your left hand pulls in for chaturanga position. Now roll over your right shoulder, and just bring your right ear down to the mat. And if you want more intensity in this shoulder stretch here, you can, your left hand can go behind your back, or you can start to straighten your left leg and kind of roll onto the left glute. Everyone's gonna have a different range of motion here, so just do what works best for you. For three. and one let's gently roll back onto your belly and we're just going to switch sides so left arm goes out right hand slides in right knee bends and you roll over your left shoulder bring your left ear down Add or subtract as you need to here to intensify the stretch. For three. Two. And one, let's roll back onto your belly. Keep your right leg bent. Slide your left hand into chaturanga position. Push to straight arms with your right leg continuing to stay bent. Last wild thing, roll over your left hip. Bring your right foot to the floor and lift the heads of your hip bones towards the sky for two. And one, flip into three-legged dog, right leg high in the air. Exhale, glide your right shin forward and lower it down for pigeon. Let your left leg walk you into it. Bring your forearms down, chest and chin can come down. This little fly is gonna be the death of me. And we'll just hold and breathe. For three. Two. And one, inhale, start to push yourself back up to straight arms. Turn your back toes under, lift your knee, and step back to down dog. Now inhale, come all the way through into a seated position. Send your legs out in front of you, and take a fold over your thighs. Hands maybe can come to the outsides of your feet. 
If that's not available, you'll just take hands to the shins or bend your knees. Lead with your heart for three. Two. And one, let's inhale, start to rise back up. Pull your left knee into your belly and open it out to the side. Now your right hand will take your left knee. You're gonna drop your right shoulder down and reach your left arm over your head towards your toes. Now I would rather see you focus on this twist than on taking the foot and binding. So really nestle your right shoulder to the inside of your right leg and push into that inner thigh so you can work your left rib cage up and open. For three. Two. And one, let's inhale, rise up, windmill, left hand behind you, right arm over your head and rise onto your left shin for gate pose. Exhale, lower right back down as you were. And inhale, send your left leg long. We're just gonna switch sides. Pull your right knee into your belly, open it out to the side. Take your left hand to your right knee, drop your left shoulder down, and reach your right arm over your head to take the toes or to hover the hand. For three, two, one. Inhale, start to rise back up. Lower your right hand behind you, left arm over your head, lift onto your right shin. Now exhale, drop your hips, and inhale, send your right leg long. Exhale, lower all the way down to lay on your back. Nice. Now let's bend your knees. Take your hands down next to your sides and lift into a bridge. Hips are up. If this feels okay, interlace your fingers under your back and work your arms to a straightened, extended position. Two. And one. Drop your hips to the floor, right knee pulls into belly, left leg goes long. Left hand finds right knee and you drag it across your body as you take your gaze over your right shoulder. On your inhale, bring yourself back to center. And exhale, send your right leg long. Inhale, pull your left knee in. And exhale, take it across your body for a twist. Gaze over your left shoulder. For three. Two. And one, inhale, bring it back to center. Pull both knees into the belly and take happy baby. Find the outsides of your feet with your hands and gently sway from side to side. From here, let's bring the soles of your feet to touch. Drop your pinky toes to the floor and take your arms up and over your head into Supta Baddha Konasana. 
Take a big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Two more like this, breath in. Last and final, breath in. Just let your body melt. Jaw comes unhinged. Shabbat. If you have the time, stay like this or always feel free to extend your legs if and when you need to. Otherwise, let's start to awaken your senses. Taking a moment to swallow. Gentle wiggles into fingers and toes. And then draw your knees in towards your belly and roll over to one side. Create a little pillow with your arm. Just take a moment here to drink in the benefits of your practice. And then we'll slowly push yourself up into a comfortable seat. Bring your hands together at heart center. And let's take three deep breaths to close our practice down. Deep inhale through your nose for mind. Inhale, body. Inhale, spirit. The light in me honors and shines the light in all of you. Namaste.